the modern man would despise someone for something they did years ago. He hates people with all of his heart. Whether that's people who's better than him, people who talk trash to him on video games, he gets so mad he says the most outrageous stuff saying, I'm gonna beat you up, this and that. The man we aspire to be understands a popular quote by Tupac that goes, forgive but don't forget. So you should hate no one and hold no grudges. Like for me, that was my ex. That was kids who bullied me in middle school. I hated those kids with all of my heart. I wanted, mm. But everything happens for a reason. I think God has a reason for everything. So I don't hate those kids no more. It's in the past. But you shouldn't let nothing get to you. You should be emotionally concrete. You see those kids who, when someone says something about them, they always try to fight. They always get mad. That was me, bro. That kid is not hard. He is not cool. He is emotionally weak. He's a bitch. The kid who gets mad or he cries even. I see that a lot. Like they cry because they're so mad. Because they're emotionally weak. See, the man we aspire to be, someone, some, some ne something negative gets thrown at him. You know what he does? He chuckles it off. You don't know why? Because his emotions are concrete. Because he meditates, of course. You need to understand another like popular uh, Tupac quote that goes, I still want to see you eat, just not at my table. Basically, like, you don't have to be friends with that person. But like, bro, you shouldn't be preying upon no one's downfall, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You're a sad human being if you do that. Like, I've had friends. Oh, uh, this one, one friend. He left the group that we were in because about like some stuff, you know, about a girl and something like that. And he got mad at us. But from our POV, he was overreacting. But, you know, it's his POV versus ours. And I remember when he left, he said some things about me. And you know what I did? I was like, you know what? I wish him the best. And my friend was heated. He wasn't saying nothing negative, but he was heated about it. I was like, nah, I already got over it. I'm fine, you know. He does him, I do me, you know. I, I never hated him or nothing like that. But I'm just thinking like the old me, the PS4 me would be talking so much trash about beating him up. 1v1s, that's what we did, did a lot. Like if we had beef, we'd settle it in the game. But talking outrageous stuff, saying all kinds of stuff. Like my veins would be popping on there, screaming down the mic, bro. But you need to understand being negative, wishing upon people's downfalls gets you nowhere. See, I come from a negative household. And the thing I always say is like, because they say negative things, I could be like, you could say a hundred negative things about me. I could say a hundred negative things about you. But at the end of the day, it gets nothing done. All you're doing is basically spreading negativity and nothing gets done. You're just wasting your brain power, your mental power, all kinds of power. Say less than necessary. Yes, I said that right. Say less than necessary. If you're in those situations where it's just negative, just keep your mouth shut. Keep to yourself. If your words cannot help the situation, if it's just like, kind of like, you're fat, no, you're fat, no, you're fat. You know, those kind of situations where like nobody's, it's not really a debate. It's basically just everyone's just throwing their negativity in. Just don't say nothing. Reserve your words. If, this, if, it, if your words cannot help this situation, keep your mouth shut. I went a little off on a tangent, like off topic, but that's a, like a good valid point too. See, you need to be retrospective about these things. Another thing that I see is like people hating their parents for the actions and choices that they've done. Like some past friends, I remember was like dogging his mom and stuff like that. The thing is, you don't understand is the way your parents treat you, your mom or dad, is the way that they got treated as well. See, this doesn't start with you. It's not like, oh, my parents hate me. This is, it's the way they see it, subconsciously. Like, you don't think about it, just the way you use, because that's how you got treated in, like, different situations. See, this goes back generation after generation, generation. This is basically just generational trauma. Like, the parent does it to the kid, the kid grows up, he puts a version of his trauma onto his kid and he keeps going and going. You're not the first. But for me, like my situation, my parents come from Mexico. There is no, how do you treat your kids right? You know what I mean? Like if your parents come from like third world places or like places that aren't like, what do you say? Like modernized? I don't know. Like they don't really know how to parent. They weren't really taught how to parent. There was no shit like that in the ranches, bro. So as much as it does kind of suck, you have to be the one to help your parents out to show them what a good parent kind of does. And the thing is, most parents kind of like egotistical, like arrogant, like, you know, they don't really care no more, you know? At the same time, you can't really be hitting on your parents, bro. It's like, what else could they do? Think about you're in this situation. What else could, could they do? Oh, and if you're one of those, like, I would never treat my kids how my parents treat me. Chances are you would too. But if you want to change that, you want to change the odds, 
you need to change yourself. If I want my kids not to smoke, I can't be smoking. If I want my kids to be healthy, I need to be healthy. Because your kids are probably going to pick up your habits because they're like sponges. They soak up information. So if you want to have the best kid, you need to be the best parent. Change your habits and your actions today, right now. See, I, I kind of use these things to like aid me in motivation. Like, I think, oh, maybe this 20-minute read won't help me at all in the grand scheme of things. But it com your actions compound. I've made a video on that your actions compound so every single little action you take i'll say oh it's gonna aid me to be a better man i could find a more higher quality wife i can make better quality kids raise my kids in a better way that one little meditation session reading session will help every single that's all that's what i used to motivate myself you you can use that too like little like when you think you're like what you're doing is like insignificant to like to it all but remember your small actions compound into the man that you will be so if you make good little small decisions, like picking up a water instead of a soda, that's the man that you'll become. I'm trying to keep these videos a little shorter because you know, I'm a smaller channel and my retention is like poop, like a minute tops, minute to tops. So obviously, you know, that's kind of obvious, but I think once I get to like on a bigger, on a bigger, like a bigger audience, I'm probably gonna redo all of these videos that I made to go more in depth, to go more in detail and stuff like that. Right now, I'm keeping them shorter because I understand they're not getting that much like traction. Nobody's really seen them through. So I'm definitely gonna have to redo all these videos and I'm fine with that, you know. This just builds up um, basically like practice for videos and stuff like that, for like future videos. Well, yeah, I'm gonna cut it off there. If you guys wanna leave your two cents, feel free to drop it down in the comments. And with all that said, don't be average, be limitless.